Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The People's Liberation Army Rocket Force PLARF has the world's largest ground-based conventional missile force. It has evolved from the secondary artillery force of PLA to PLARF which makes it another service just like army navy and air force. The PLARF has increased by 33% in size in 3 years between 2017 to 2019 which shows how fast China is building its rocket force. The PLA rocket force fields a variety of conventional mobile ground-launched short, medium and intermediate range ballistic missiles and ground-launched cruise missiles which complements the air and sea based precision strike capabilities of PLA Air Force and PLA Navy. The former Chief of Indian Army, General Manoj Naravne, had said that the future conflicts would follow a reverse linearity conduct of operations with rear facilities such as command and control posts, logistics hubs, airfields, and communication nodes taking the first salvo from precision standoff weapons. The second salvo of autonomous drone would aim to overblem and destroy air defenses, artillery pieces, missile bases and tank formations while rockets and gun artillery attacks will finish off the troops at the forward deployed locations. So what former army chief has said is being witnessed in ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. Both sides have been targeting the opponent's oil and ammunition depot with barrage of missiles, rockets and lottery munition. If unfortunately India and China lock their horns in similar kind of conflict, we would witness similar kind of attack. Therefore, it becomes extremely important for India to build a credible and centralized rocket force which could provide effective deterrence against the PLA rocket force and move towards the non-contact warfare that is attacking from a very large standoff distance. An integrated rocket force will allow Indian forces to target Chinese force concentration along the line of actual control and dual use infrastructure in Tibet and also strike deep inside the Chinese territory. It will also bring existing missile assets under a single architecture and doctrine. In recent few years, India has made significant progress towards building its short and long-range conventional missiles for non-nuclear strike. In September 2021, India's first Chief of Defence Staff, late General Bipin Rawat, had said that India is looking to create a rocket force that could potentially control and maintain the country's missiles. The Indian Rocket Force will be different from the Strategic Forces Command SFC. The SFC will be responsible for country's nuclear arsenal and will be in charge of nuclear capable missiles of India, which are Prithvi 2, Shore, Agni series of missile that is Agni 1, Agni 2, 3, 4, and Agni 5. SFC will also be in charge of nuclear powered submarines with nuclear tipped missiles. So envisioned by the India's Chief of Defence Staff, late General Pipin Rawat, the Prala Ballistic Missile will be one of the main elements of country's dedicated rocket force and play a key role in defending nation against long-range threats. The Defence Equation Council has already given the acceptance of necessity for Indian Air Force to induct one unit, that is 120 Prala missiles, which was followed by another two units or 250 such missiles for Indian Army. Prale is going to be a canisterized tactical surface-to-surface short-range ballistic missile. It is comparable with Russian 9K720 Iskander in range and trajectory. It is superior to traditional ballistic missile because it follows a quasi-ballistic trajectory which makes it difficult to detect. Trale having range between 150 to 500 km can strike on all Chinese air bases, surface to air missile defense system, radar sites and other military assets 
along the line of actual control. India is also building multi-purpose tunnels in border states to store land-based short-range tactical missiles. These tunnels will store and safeguard missiles against primitive Chinese attack and allow quick deployment during crisis. The next missile, which is going to be crucial for Indian rocket force, will be long-range cruise missiles with range in excess of 1000 km, which will be derivative of nearby subsonic cruise missile. At present, DRDO is developing ITCM technical demonstrator, which will be 100% indigenous and will be powered by indigenous small turbofan engine STFE of 400 kg force thrust class. As per DRDO, the timeline for the project completion of ITCM is July 2023. The acceptance of necessity for the long-range cruise missile was granted by Ministry of Defence in August 2023 for an estimated cost of over Rs 10,000 crore for Indian Air Force. In February 2024, the acceptance of necessity was also granted for Indian Army, which is estimated to be around 4,000 crore rupees. The other missile, which could be part of India's upcoming rocket force, could be a derivative of Agni Prime. On 5th November 2023, ANI has reported that defense forces are looking to induct ballistic missiles for conventional roles, that is, they won't be carrying nuclear warhead. It will be a medium-range ballistic missile having a range of 1500 km. The report also says that the medium-range missile will be from the existing inventory of Strategic Forces Command. Now this hints towards only one missile which is Agni Prime. It is the latest and the most sophisticated missile of DRDO with a range between 1000 to 2000 km. Pramhos, as we all know, is a supersonic cruise missile which has been inducted in all the three services. Its range has already been extended from original 290 km to 450 km and the new missile is being called as Pramhos ER. DRDO is also working to further extend its range to 800 km. On 24th January 2024, DRDO and Indian Navy has test fired 800 km range from host missile. At the same time, the smaller, lighter, and equally capable Brahmos NG is under development. The preliminary design review for the missile has been completed and it is expected to commence its developmental trials in late 2025 or early 2026. Pramhos NG will be 50% lighter, 3 meters smaller, and will have a range of 290 kilometers and speed of Mach 3.5. The current air launch Pramhos missile weighs around 2.65 ton. With NG, its weight will decrease to 1.33 tons. So to summarize, the missile that will make up the upcoming rocket force of India will be Pralaya, LRLSEM or Nirbhaya, Brahmos, Pinaka multi barrel rocket launch system, and other standoff weapons. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.